I'm here with the uh, Evo. Getting ready to do all the mods to it. I'm gonna be making individual videos per part. As in, like, I'll do a video for the downpipe, I'll do a video for the electronic boost controller, I'll do a video for the fuel pump, and so on. So, let's get started. Voila, the mighty Mitsubishi Evolution from the factory. All right, let's start with this electronic boost controller right here. All right, it looks like it just has four hoses, two electrical connectors right there, and then two 10 millimeter nuts in the back, and it should come out. It seems fairly easy. Alright, here we have the Grim Speed electronic boost controller. Oh, very nice. Some vacuum lines. Grim Speed sticker. Alright, so this electronic boost controller replaces this brown one right here i took the whole assembly off just because it'll be easier to show you guys um exactly which hoses go to which once it's connected into this bracket and um you can also see a little better in here what's going on after taking that assembly out okay so i'm gonna take this 10 millimeter off right here and install this one in its place all right so there is two ways to install this one way would be putting the old one backwards through the bracket so the stud comes out through the plate and then you'll put the um, nut on the other side I didn't want that I just wanted to take that off completely so I just grabbed the you know 10 millimeter bolt and use uh, the nut that I took off you can find pretty much 10 millimeter bolts anywhere. So now I'm going to go and show you which hoses connect to which. And reinstall the black solenoid. How it came out. Alright, so the install is complete. Let me just give you a rundown on exactly where each hose goes to. So we have the Grim Speed electronic boost controller right here. We have port number 1. This is in the middle, port number 3. And on the outside right here is port number two okay so port number one is supposed to be routed right into your intake i have it off at the moment because i am gonna get a cold air intake so there's no point of connecting it right now okay let's start with let's continue with number three which is right in the middle it's going right into the nipple right by the upper intercooler pipe Right here, right back to number three. Okay, number two, right here, is routed all the way to the wastegate. So number two, all the way down there to the wastegate. Connected the boost controller from Grim Speed to the brown electrical connector, and then the black one underneath is connected again to the black connector 
so there is no check engine lights I double checked this with the actual instructions from the website on Grimspeed and is exactly how they are saying to install this so there you go pretty simple install and stay tuned for the next video